Last time a Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke challenge. Did you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? Did you? Huh? 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 Overly attached girlfriend! <laughs> oh Rosalia just kinda sucks. I'm going to save your sperm. Yay! No. Holy crap! A typeplosion! I'll take it. I, Mr. Nidorino here to eventually evolve into a Nido King. Dear God, I hate this battle. Okay. This battle literally made me rage quit this game for months. Again, don't kill me. Crap. You frickin' suck, man. You can just kiss my... Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead. Well, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. This is for me. A punch in the face, that's what it is. A frickin' punch in the face. Alright, that's an item finder. It finds items. Really? You don't say. And now for the continuation. Hey everybody, it's the same dude to 4th. I'm gonna turn down my volume just a little bit. This is Let's Play Some Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we managed to go ahead and kick some butt on Route 18. Almost catch a Typhlosion. And then a Famfe taunts us. And now, here we are on Route 18 yet again. But we're very close to a city. Let's talk to this gentleman right here. Fishing is all about concentration. You have to focus on the flo floater. Indeed. Alright. But hey, there's some berries over here. Ah, Michael. This is Wayne. How are your Pokémon? I just lost yet of another battle. Well, see ya. Well, thanks for letting me know that, Mr. Wayne. Speaking of which, I found three Nanab Berries, so I want to pick the Nanab Berries? Sure, why not? Uh, Nanab Berries are just mainly used for contests and mixing berries and stuff. Uh, so yeah, in case you guys haven't noticed about my voice being different, the reason that my voice is different is because of the fact that I have a new microphone. And it's about darn time. Let's uh, see, this microphone is connected to what are known as Turtle Beach Headphones, and these things are freaking amazing. I, I'm serious, these things are freaking amazing. It's like the first time I listened to Smooth McGroove, which by the way I started listening to Smooth McGroove with this stuff, it was just like, my ears had orgasms. The two roads, one above, one below, a road each for people and Pokemon. Perhaps that is right and fair. Let's talk to you, sir. Wouldn't it be great? to ride a bike at full speed on Cycling Road? I guess so, but I don't have a bike. But welcome to Malville City. Hi. Hi, do you check TV at all? They've added a bunch of cool new shows recently. <laughs> TV is so cool. I think my friends on TV just out of blue. Sometimes they even put on TV without really telling you. I always try to be on TV sometimes. <laughs> That's why I think you should check out TVs whenever you can. Cool story, bro. Suck to you. If I had a bike, it'd be easy to cycle to Slate Fort for some shopping. I'd be able to buy a Harbor Mail at the Pokemon Mart in Slate Fort. Well, that's interesting. Let's suck to you, sir. You know, it's cool to have a Pokemon battles and stuff, but if your Pokemon get hurt, you have to nurse it back to health. Really? We're in, a, like, the fifth city now, and you're just now telling me this? And we found an X Speed! Extreme Speed! No, XP just increases your speed uh, by one stage per battle. Hello, sir. Even if you're riding a bike, while a Pokemon could jump you. Well, that's interesting. I don't have a bike, though. Let's talk to you. The roads of this town stretch north and south and east and west. Because of that, we get all sorts of people coming through. Let's talk to you. Did you know that you could go from here a long way in, the, in that direction without changing direction? I might even have to go all that way. Do you think your Pokemon will want to roll too? I can teach you one move. Teach one to move rollout if you'd like. Uh, nah. Let's talk to hey, frickin' Wally. Ah, uh, SpongeBob. I want to challenge a gym and see how much better I become. Please, may I? Please. Now hold on, Wally. Since you started living with Pokémon, you have grown quite stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralts, we can beat anyone. Oh. 
Hi, Michael. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Michael, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Michael, please, will you have a battle with me? Uh... Hang on, I wanna hit no. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and check my Pokemon. Pokemon check! Yup, that's why I wanted to check. I wanna make sure I wanna heal my Pokemon before we start doing that. So, Pokemon healing, go! Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center! Yes, I would like to restore my health! Blah de blah de blah! Alright. Ah. Alright, so. I've been thinking about things to talk about. And I figured out something. Alright. I'm gonna talk about Let's Player Pro Tips. As of late over the years, Let's Players have become more popular on YouTube. And over the couple of years I've done of Let's Playing on and off, I've learned a few things. So these are my Let's Play Pro Tips while battling Cool Trainer Noel. Alright. Pro Tip number one. Always go to the bathroom before you start recording. This might sound a bit ridiculous, but you have no idea how often that happens. You're just sitting around, and all of a sudden, oh crap, I have to go to the bathroom. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm recording, so you can't really just leave. I mean, if you want to edit it out, you can, if you really gotta go. But I'll always try and go before you start recording. Let's see, this guy has a Ralts. I don't want to send an Ivysaur, because that'd be bad. So I think Skeptile will work, because he's not part poison. Uh, oh yeah, Fury Cutter is, uh, bugs, that's super effective. Yeah, there we go. Super effective. Alright. Number two. Uh, always have something to talk about. Constantly talk. Even if it's just gibberish, go... Blah, 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 blah. You know, keep your audience interested. Uh, you know, just don't sit there and have, like, awkward silences and stuff. Uh, number three. It gets better as it goes along. I mean, I would know that at first I sucked balls at commentating. Just watch one of my early Pokemon Coliseum episodes and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It was terrible. Level 18. You know. Cool trainer Noel was defeated. You're not red. I lost. Really? I had no idea. But yes. Uh, rule number four. Always be energetic. Because that gets people's attention. Uncle, I'll go back to Vernon Turf. Michael, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have one Pokemon and make him battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wooly, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Well, that was random. I accidentally clicked off the screen there. Michael, it's just dawned on me that you might be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wooly when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Vernon Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. Uh, sure my- oh, hello. Yeah, I was watching that match. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold anything back in beating him impressively. Yeah, that's what being a real Pokemon battle is all about. I ought to like strainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Alright, so now that we got that, uh, this is a Pokemon Casino. The game corner. That's where you can play slots and stuff, but, eh, I'm not really wanting to do that. Hey, ride in gravel and shake up your soul. Rydles cycles. Well, that kind of makes sense. Let's talk to you. Well, well, what do we have here? Our most energetic customer. Me? You can call me Rydal. I'm the owner of this cycle shop. Your, your running shoes are awful filthy. Did you come from far away? Sure, why not? Mm-hmm. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Roots? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you have one on my back so you can go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. Tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second, I forgot to tell you there are two kinds of bikes. There's a map bike and an acro bike. The mock bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind in their bodies. And the acro bike is one who wanted to prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one will you choose? Uh, if you come back to Rydal, you can switch between the two. So, as for now, I'll just go with acro. So, yeah, we got ourselves an acro bike. Bikes just make you go faster. If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come see me. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that you gotta come back to him and switch, but that's how it works. So, basically, all you do is just go to your bag. You go ahead and go to your key items, which I always have the thing registered. 
then... There you go. You're on your bike. Hold the B button to do a wheelie. Hold still. You can do bunny hops. You can do side jumps. Like... Like... That. Ah, come on. Stop. Stop being stupid. It's hard to do on a keyboard. But yeah. Uh... Yeah, you just go a little bit faster is all. I don't want to go on Route 118. I was already on Route 118. Alright, so, now that we're here in Mauville, uh, let's go ahead and continue on with my uh, tips there. Uh, most important rule of Let's Playing ever is to just have fun Let's Playing. If you're doing it for money, if you're doing it for fame, you're not doing it for the right reasons. Just plain and simple, right there. Ivysaur, I'm gonna have you switch uh, well, no, let's go ahead and have Glalie come out. Alright, so, welcome to Mobile's Gym. Mobile's Gym, in case we couldn't already tell, is an electric type gym. With my charm and Pokemon's moves, you'd be shocked. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. My electric soul. They'll shatter your dreams whole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Alright, so, welcome to Mobile's Gym. We got a Jint Jill and a Nurse Jacqueline. And they're gonna. Send out some Pokemon, Metatites, and Electric. Well, it rhymes, kind of. Go, Glalie and Macargo. Uh, both of these Pokemon are pretty bad against Metatite because it's a fighting type Pokemon. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use Icy Wind. And Macargo is gonna go ahead and use an Ember on Metatite. And Metatite's protecting itself. Alright, Detect is basically protects it from all attacks for a turn. However, if you use it successfully, or if you use it over and over again, uh, the chances of it uh, working decrease. It's using Spark, Ember, but of course it protected itself, so that's that's not really the point there. All right, so Icy Wind yet again, and then Ember, Metatite, and it's using Icy Wind. Alright, so we got that. Makes all their speeds lowered, and it's also a little bit stronger than Powder Snow, so that's why I like using it. And it still hits both people, so it's not too bad. Thunder Punch! Thunder Punch! Falcon Punch! Can't point me, hot dog, man! No, just kidding. And we got Macargo Paralyzed. Lovely! I love being paralyzed. It's so much fun! It's just, I have no idea where I was going with that. Icy Wind! Now, you wanna know it's Icy Wind? Freaking freezer at Walmart, it's freaking cold. It's like negative 20 in there, it's... Ugh. Hate it. Really do. I, I'm just not really a fan of doing picks in that freezer. Anybody that's worked at Walmart and has done, like, ICS and stuff, you know what the balls I'm talking about. It is cold in there. Do you think Spark? Electric moves! Ember. And Metatite's dead. I'm surprised Metatite didn't use any fighting type moves, because that would have just screwed me over. And Glalie grows level 18. And Macargo does not. He's about to send out another Metatite. It's exactly like the first one. I see wind. Macargo, Ember, do it again. Quit protecting yourself. It's like, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. That I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> it's protecting, it makes sense. It makes sense, he's protecting himself. Condoms, wrapping your, never mind, anyway. Anyway, that trike is dead. So much for me being stupid. And Macargo is not leveling up. Okay. Ooh, Voltorb. Ooh, Voltorb. Alright, Voltorbs are freaking fast. I think I've already gave this speech before, but at one point in time, Voltorb was the fastest Pokemon ever. Well, the ele well, more Electrode. It's the fastest Pokemon ever. So, yeah. We gotta slow that thing down, and we also gotta kill this Metatite. It's using Screech. Massively lowering my defense. And one annoying nerd from Say by the Bell. Don't ask where I know that reference. I'm older than I seem. Sometimes. Anyway, your speed's lowered. Your speed's lowered. Which is actually good for me. And then, you're using Meditate to increase your attack. Lovely. Well, let's use Ember. 
Take that with your hot dog, man. You're gonna kick your butt and use icy wind, man. It's frickin' cold, man. Devin needs to get out of my room, man. But my dog's frickin' in here. Devin! Out! Out of my room! You are banished! Okay. Sorry about that, I'm talking to my dog there. Anyway! Well, it's worth using charge! Charge! Saw that frickin' Eggman there. Charge! Uh, oh yeah, that's right, that doesn't have work in this game! Crap, 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 ooh, that was close. Alright, my cargo needs to be switched out. Lately, Icy Wind, my cargo switch out. Uh, we're gonna send in, uh, shoobity-doobity-doobity, Skeptile. Yeah, we don't want people dying on this, because, you know, it's a Nuzlocke challenge. You can't die. One does not simply die in a Nuzlocke challenge. Ah, so close to killing it. It's that close. I guess some experience. And Shockwave! Uh-oh. Okay, so I should probably explain a couple things. First of all, Charge has the ability in order to increase uh, electric attacks. Second of all, Devin needs to get out of my room. Thank you. Now in fourth generation on, charge also increases your special attack. 